Hi again, I'm Mike Scott, the film critic at the Times Picayune in New Orleans. And if you go see just one new movie this weekend, this is The One, my weekly video for NOLA.com, where I try to help you sort through all the new offerings at the box office. And if there were a single word to describe this week's box office offerings, it would be weird. We've got a trippy live-action animated hybrid starring Robin Wright in The Congress, which tells the story of an actress who agrees to have her body scanned by a studio, which can then use her avatar in whatever movie they like and without her approval. We've also got an Elvis-like drama in The Identical, a movie with heart but that just makes weird decision after weird decision and never quite gels. And then we've got a documentary about sideshows and freak shows in Bound by Flesh, which is playing exclusively at the Shalmet Movies for the next week. Like I said, weird stuff. And the movie I'm recommending this week fits right in there with the rest of them. It's Frank, director Lenny Abramson's indie rock and roll dramatic comedy starring Michael Fassbender as the lead singer of an avant-garde techno-punk band but who wears a giant paper mache head at all times. Frank wants us to start everything from scratch. Local color coding. He's created an entirely new musical notation system. We've designed our own instruments. He has initiated the strict regime of physical exercise. Fortunately, we have a safe word for when things get too intense. Chinchilla. It's incredible. Frank finds inspiration in everything. I find this inspiring. How does he do this? If I'm to grow as an artist, I must see as he sees. I dedicate myself to learning his secret, and I will not let anybody get in my way, however desperately they may try. Somebody's thinking of the key of C! It's me! It's me! Keep going! Keep going! I am more convinced than ever that this band, whether they realize it or not, could achieve greatness and I will work to take my place at its very heart. I will show them what I am capable of. I will show them. That's Donald Gleason there as the audience's surrogate, the one normal guy in the film who falls in with Big Head Frank's offbeat collection of fellow musicians. Along the way, Gleason's character struggles with finding a creative voice. Meanwhile, Frank clearly is struggling with his own problems. It's an easy-to-embrace film, thanks largely to its cast, which, in addition to the Oscar-nominated Fassbender and the extremely likable Gleason, features Maggie Gyllenhaal and Scoot McNary. Also, though, there's the tone, which is decidedly quirky, but with a certain smartness beneath all the laughs. As for exactly what Abramson's saying with this film, it's a little unclear. Rather than driving home one central theme, he's more contentious to touch on a number of them. Still, there's a lot to like in Frank, up to and including a third-act musical number that, in addition to being incredibly moving, is probably going to have you humming its haunting tune for at least a couple of days after seeing it. Heck, it's been almost a week for me, and I'm still humming it. In my review in this week's Land Yap and online at NOLA.com, I give it three stars out of five. And so this week, Frank is also the one.